Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week on EastEnders, there's a shock bombshell for Zach, Denise and Ravi spend a flirty evening together, while Lola and Jay have a big announcement to make to is a full collection of the 14 biggest moments coming up. It could be all over for Whitney and Zach when she pretends she's happy for him to accept a job offer to be head chef on a cruise ship. Chelsea tries to do damage control and convince Zach to stick around in Albert Square, what will he decide to do Ricky Jr. argues with his dad. Jack, and accuses him of only being interested in teenage sister Amy and her problems. All the family drama continues to affect Jack and Denise's marriage after what happened on New Year's Eve. Ricky has been left wondering whether his ex-wife Sam, wants to move to Germany with him. As Ricky prepares to leave, what will Sam do? Zach is shaken by a blast from the past, when he spots a one-time associate of Brett, played by former Hollyoaks star Fabrizio Santino, in the square, Zach tries to scare Brett into leaving Walford. But then Brett drops a shock bombshell that turns Zach's world upside down, Denise is determined to put the spark back into her marriage and gets a makeover from Lola over at the hair salon but it's restaurant boss Ravi who notices how good Denise looks when she arrives to book a table for two at Walford East. Whitney is worried when Zach shows little interest in their baby ultrasound. After a row with Whitney, Zach continues to drown his sorrows at the club. But he panics and breaks down after smashing a glass and cutting his hand. Amy is left home alone and invites Denzel over to No. 27. The teenager is not impressed when Denzel arrives with troublesome schoolmate Nugget, who has stolen a bottle of vodka from Suki's shop. All kicks off when Jack and Denise arrive home to discover the teenagers have got drunk on the stolen booze, and Ricky Jr. has been sick. Jack loses his cool and even finds a way to blame Denise. IT doesn't look like they're shaky. Marriage will be back on track anytime soon. Stacy is fuming after the Panasar family raise the rent on the Slater house. Things get worse when her food van breaks down and she worries about how much it will cost to repair it. Unfortunately, Stacy's daughter Lily overhears her telling Jean about their money troubles. Lola is fed up of her fiancé Jay and granddad Billy making a fuss about her returning to work at the hair salon. But terminally ill Lola is determined to enjoy her normal life while she still can. With the clock ticking, Jay suddenly has an idea. After another row with Jack, Denise drowns her sorrows over at Peg's. It's not long before she's joined by Ravi who offers Denise a shoulder to cry on, after spending a flirty evening together, Ravi moves in for a kiss. How will married woman Denise react, Sharon starts to sense something is troubling her brother Zach. She makes it clear she's there for Zach whenever he's ready to talk, once he's alone again, Zach breaks down and sobs, it's Jean's 60th birthday but she doesn't want a party since the Slater family is skint, however, Jean's fella Harvey might have an unexpected solution to their money troubles, Billy, Ben and Callum fear the worst when Lola gathers the family to make an announcement. Are they about to get some terrible news about Lola's condition?